the cold and flu season is not just impacting humans. Canine flu and other viruses that make dogs sick are also spreading. Bradley Blackburn explains what pet owners need to know. Jason Smith boarded his pets over Thanksgiving. I was very surprised that all three dogs had flu symptoms within 24 hours of getting back from the kennel. Like people, pets are also dealing with viruses right now that can make them sick. There's canine influenza and pneumovirus. Most dogs will experience 10 to 14 days of runny nose and coughing, but there is a significant subset of those dogs that will progress to pneumonia that can be very life-threatening. Some animal shelters have had to suspend dog adoptions because of flu or pneumovirus cases, like Pinella County Animal Services in Florida. So it's once it starts spreading, it just it just goes. Dr. Cinda Crawford is with the University of Florida's College of Veterinary Medicine. She says the message is the same for sick pets as it is for sick people. Limit their activity so that they can get some rest and find them at home because whatever's causing their cold is likely contagious to other dogs. While there is no vaccine for pneumovirus, there is a canine influenza vaccine. So if you're planning to board your dogs over Christmas, now is the time to get the vaccination. The timing um, is so important because their, their antibody production is, is what needs to build up. Jason is grateful his dogs are feeling better. Monday and Tuesday got really bad and I got real worried that Fiona might be getting pneumonia, um, but she parked up the next day. Dog owners should always be on the lookout for warning signs. If your dog stops eating or has difficulty breathing, contact your veterinarian. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News. Well, getting your dog vaccinated for canine influenza may not prevent an infection altogether, but it may reduce the severity and duration of the illness, according to the American Veterinary Medical Association.